One unique experience that was a part of many baby boomers' lives was the tradition of waiting for the milkman to deliver fresh milk. Before the widespread use of refrigeration, milk was delivered to homes in glass bottles early in the morning by a milkman. Families would often leave their empty bottles outside their doors the night before, and in the morning, the milkman would replace them with fresh, cold bottles of milk. The milk was typically delivered in a small truck with a distinctive design, and the milkman would often whistle or shout to announce his arrival. The practice was popular throughout the 1950s and 60s, with many families relying on the milkman for their daily supply of milk. S and H green stamps were a ubiquitous part of many baby boomers' childhoods. These trading stamps were first introduced in the 1930s by the Sperry and Hutchinson Company and quickly became a popular way for consumers to save money on purchases. Retailers would offer the stamps as a reward for spending money in their stores, and customers could then redeem them for a variety of products, ranging from kitchen appliances to outdoor gear. The stamps were even featured in a popular jingle, Save them, trade them, for gifts you'll adore. S&H Green Stamps, they're worth asking for. Despite the decline in popularity of trading stamps in the 70s, many look back on their S&H Green Stamps collection with fondness and nostalgia for a simpler time. Speaking of a simpler time, do you remember clipping baseball cards to your bikes? During the 1950s and 1960s, baseball cards were hugely popular among kids, and one common way to show off your collection was to attach them to your bike spokes with a clothespin. As you rode, the cards would flicker against the spokes, creating a unique and satisfying sound that was instantly recognizable to other kids in the neighborhood. Some kids even traded cards based on their ability to create the loudest and most impressive sound. Drive-in movie theaters were popular in the 1950s and 60s and provided a fun and social experience for families and couples. Moviegoers would park their cars in front of a giant screen and watch the latest films while snacking on popcorn and other treats. The theaters were particularly popular during the 50s and 60s with over 4,000 drive-ins in operation across the U.S. at their peak. Many of the theaters were decorated with neon lights and colorful signs, and some even offered playgrounds and miniature golf courses to help keep the kids entertained. Back home on the TV screen, families enjoyed some iconic TV shows. One television show that was a beloved part of many childhoods was Bonanza. This classic Western series premiered in 1959, and it ran for an impressive 14 seasons, making it one of the longest-running television shows in history. The show followed the lives of the Cartwright family, who lived on a ranch in the rugged territory of Nevada in the 1860s. Patriarch Ben Cartwright and his three sons Adam, Hoss, and Little Joe faced a variety of challenges, from land disputes to personal conflicts. The show was notable for its strong family values, complex characters, and beautiful outdoor scenery. It also featured a memorable theme song, which is still instantly recognizable to many fans today. Music is the backdrop for every generation. But there was one cultural phenomenon that swept through the baby boomer generation that nothing since can rival. Beatlemania. This term describes the intense fan frenzy that surrounded the British band, the Beatles, during the mid-1960s. With their catchy pop songs, mop-top hairstyles, and charming personalities, John Lennon, Paul McCartney, George Harrison, and Ringo Starr captured the hearts and imaginations of millions of fans around the world. The group's appearance on The Ed Sullivan Show in 1964 drew a record-breaking 73 million viewers, 
and their subsequent tours and albums only fueled the fire of Beatlemania. Fans would scream, cry, and faint at their concerts, and the group's influence on music, fashion, and culture cannot be overstated. And while you watched all these things from home, you could enjoy a Swanson TV dinner. These prepackaged meals were introduced in 1953, and they were initially marketed as a convenient way for busy families to enjoy a complete meal in front of the television. The meals included a main course, such as turkey or Salisbury steak, as well as a selection of sides, including mashed potatoes, corn, and even dessert. They were heated in the oven and served in a divided tray, making them easy to eat without the need for additional dishes. The TV dinner was an instant hit, with millions of families across the country incorporating them into their weekly meal plans. Instant hits came in the form of technology too, in the form of the electric calculator. Before the invention of calculators, people relied on manual methods, such as slide rules and abacus, to perform mathematical calculations. However, with the introduction of electronic calculators in the 1960s and 70s, the process became much easier and more efficient. The first handheld calculator was introduced in 1967 by Texas Instruments, and it revolutionized the field of math, science, and engineering. It was compact, portable, and reliable, making it an essential tool for many professions, including accountants, engineers, and scientists. Students obviously love them too. Do you remember talking to the operator? Before the advent of automated phone systems, people would have to speak to a human operator to make a phone call or to get information. Operators were typically female and were trained to assist with phone-related tasks, such as connecting long-distance calls, providing phone numbers, and making emergency calls. You could dial zero to reach an operator, and sometimes you could even strike up a conversation with them while you were waiting for your call to be connected. Operators were often seen as friendly and helpful, and many folks recall them as a reassuring presence in times of need. Speaking to a human operator remains a nostalgic reminder of simpler times. Simpler times. Many might even say better times. It's certainly fun to remember, and it's important to never forget. Thanks for watching Memory Mountain. If you enjoyed this video, please click to subscribe to our channel and hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to tap the notification bell so you'll be one of the first to know when we post our next story looking back over the landscape of Americana.